cbbia.com and today I'm going to show you how to add a really cool uh, WordPress plugin for creating polls. The first thing you would do is you can see I am logged into my WordPress uh, dashboard right now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the plugins right here okay I want to add new and the one particular plugin that I'm looking for should be listed under polls why did I say polls and we're going to create a search and the poll that we're looking for is called WP polls and what we're going to do is we're going to click on install and of course we're going to say OK and then you're going to come up with this uh, message right here and yes we want to activate the plugin the plugin is activated now what's this going to do to your dashboard it's going to create another menu under polls. Not only will you be able to add a poll to your post, you can also add them to your sidebar. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a poll. And here's uh, here's the setup for the poll. So what we're going to do is poll question. We're going to say How do you rate oh, let's do this right here. All right. This oh uh plug in. Yeah, that's a good question right there. Good question mark answer let's say great oh my spelling's not doing all that fine today I say great Answer. Uh, let's see. We can get a little creative with that. We can say "seen better." Uh, add another answer. Uh, we can say. Uh, let me think about this. Now. I'm good. I like it. Okay, so now you have your answers. And Pulse will allow users to select more than one answer. You can either say yes or no. And what I'm going to say is I'm going to say yes for this time. Say maximum number of selected answers allowed. I say I'm going to say two. Uh, because the way that this uh, poll plugin works is it picks up on your um, IP address when you're logging in and stuff of that nature to the other site. And the starting date, you can set it, uh, well, I'm going to set it, do not expire this poll. Now I'm going to just say add poll. That's easy, right? Okay, and you can see poll. Oh, who? What? That's not right. I say. It should have been how. And let me go back. So this is easy enough to change. You can see this, and you say, you come down here to manage polls. And you can come over here and say uh, you, you want to edit it. And, and that would be 
See, you're learning something here. Now, you write this pole plug-in. Okay, then we just go down here and say, edit pole. Oh, no chasing if it did. Okay, great, good. Okay, nothing's going to change. But we have changed the title here. So now we go back and say, manage poles. And we'll note, to, they can keep in mind the, uh, the ID of the pole. And this is uh, right here. Right here is this ID number right here. Because right now, the, uh, the plug-in is showing you that I have two poles right now. To which the one would be uh, right here if you want to edit it. You can see somebody, he's created one that you can look at. Say, how's my site? Blah 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 blah. Can it be improved? No comments or whatsoever. Anyway, we'll go back. Now, here's the cool thing about it. Now, I'm going to go to a post. Now, this isn't uh, my, my. This is another one of my sites. I've never used this uh, uh, pull plugin on this uh, particular site. Let's just say I'm going to go to my post. Okay, and this is a post that I'm working on. I say. Find the best ability of the program right here. I'm going to say, do a edit. Okay, and go in here. And I can say, okay. I can place this anywhere in my post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the bottom. Or I can put it in the middle, wherever. And right here, and what I'm going to do... I'm going to set it here, come back up, and you'll notice i got another little icon up here. I'm going to insert pole. And remember, that was pole number two. Say OK. You can come back down, and you see pole ID number two was inserted. I'm going to center this. OK, and that should be centered now. Yes, it is. I'm going to come back up. And I'm going to say, okay, update my post. Okay, and now I can view my post. Okay, now I'm down to my program right here. Now I'm on the face of my blog. And you can see down at the end of my post here where I put it, how do you rate this plugin? Then you can view results or vote or whatever you want to do. But if once you have voted or the uh, potential reader has uh, rated it, they will see the stats on that particular uh, poll. And uh, like I said, I said it that they could vote twice. So two times, then they won't be able to vote anymore. So if I said, well, it's great, and I say vote, it's going to happen. Of course, it says, great, I got 100% on that vote. Now say that, uh, let's go back, or refresh. Go ahead and refresh to see if I can vote twice in the same login. I've never tried this before, so you're here as much as I am. Okay, well, it's not going to allow you to do that unless I log in again. Okay, so this is this is one of the things that you'll see. And, you know, it really uh, helps with your uh, readers' participation. Not only do you have comments, you can be running polls. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a neat little feature to uh, put on your blog. Okay, let's go back. I want to show you something a little different. Let's go back to our uh, dashboard. Okay. Let's go to the widgets area. Now, uh, what this also adds is a polls widget where you can uh, go anywhere, say that you want to put it right under your RSS feeds, and it's the same thing. Uh, you, can, you can title it whatever you want to. Uh, you can link to this, uh, yes or no. 
or the full display, the latest latest poll or you know whatever and uh, and, and the latest poll or uh, random or you can just pick out which one that you want right here and so I'm gonna say how is my site that was one of the ones that they put in there and just save save now close it I can go back to my blog you see how easy this is this is you know unbelievable you know and you come all the way down your RSS feeds come down to the bottom here okay it's not on this page because that's a different type of uh, we can go to this page right here and it'll be down the bottom of that page on this page. you got to understand this uh, theme right here it's a little different where the poll should be on this page right here down the bottom and where it is here and like again I can go here and say uh, whatever good vote and there it is and that's about how easy it is it does not get any easier than that to uh, put a uh, simple little poll plug in to your website or Word, WordPress and it doesn't really take that much time and uh, you know it's a really neat little feature that you can add to your blog. Well, that's all I can say is uh, enjoy, enjoy your blogging, and uh, we'll talk at you next time.